Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer Kickstarter card game review. Today's game up on the tabletop is Kitten Casualty, the card game. It is for two to five players, about 10 minutes to play, ages 10 and up, and it is by Total Fame Limited. This game is basically a take that style game, but you're also gonna be doing a little bit of Tavmo management. Your objective is to score 500 points of kitten points to which you'll be able to unlock the Dark Overlord and send somebody to the uh, kitten hello, if you know what I mean. And if you can eliminate all your opponents, you're gonna be the last kitten player standing, you're gonna win the game. In the game, you're gonna start with five cards in your hand and they're gonna be all different types of kittens and kitten actions and all kinds of stuff like that. And you're gonna be able to play three cards. You can play actions or you can play cards that are just simply in front of you. You're also going to draw a card. If you have no cards in your hand, you'll be able to draw up to five cards at the beginning of your turn. That is oh, as long as you have no cards in your hand to begin with. Um, and that's the basic idea of the game. Playing cards in front of you that are going to be worth kitten points. Normally you'll be worth about 50 points. Playing actions to do certain things like sacrifice over here. You can destroy a kitten to draw a new card. As well as being able to, once you have five points in front of you in your tableau, to remove those cards and attack a player and simply remove them from the game. There are certain cards that can prevent that from happening. As well as a special type of uh, Exodia style god kitten that I'll explain in a bit. But that is the basic idea of the game. Let's go ahead and show you the contents and... And, uh, how to play. So here we have Kitten Casualty, the card game. And as you can see, this is all the components. You're going to be getting a bunch of cards. You're going to be getting two of these player reference cards, the uh, Dark Overlord 500 point card, and then the little rule book and a little tiny kitten box. This will explain the game for the most part, as long as you also have this card here. Make sure you have both of them so it'll explain fully how it works on your turn. Everybody's going to have five cards from this deck that you're going to shuffle up and deal out, and simply one player is going to start. If you're playing just a two player game, you're going to remove uh, five kitten point cards or you can re and remove all the skip turn cards in which case I would definitely suggest doing that skipping turns in these kind of games can get really really irritating especially in a two-player game to begin this player can go ahead and go first and they get to do three actions you can simply place cards down like this as an action that's one action right there you could then choose to play something like this which is skip which will skip the next player's turn and you put this into the discard pile and you could also go ahead and play something like this which is swap which will allow you to swap one of your kittens with another kitten on the table however nobody else has another kitten so we'll save that and play yet another little kitten there we got a hundred points right there we need 500 to get somebody out of the game so we're going to end but also don't forget you have to also pick up one card at the start of every turn you're always going to have one card at the beginning of the turn unless you have no cards in your hand which you're going to draw five next player is going to get a chance to go and simply draw a card from the deck mm, kitten kitten and kill a kitten playing kill a kitten is going to remove a kitten from the board there and it's one less card that he needs to be able to remove somebody from the game this player's up now we got another kitten there let's go with three kittens why not right and then the next player is going to get a chance to go drawing a single card choosing to play here's a hundred point kitten that's nice here's a 50 point and then we also have take an extra turn kitten that's three right there next turn he gets to draw another one play this one here and then he can choose to play a swap he'll just simply swap these guys each and the reason he's doing that is because now he has no cards in his hand and then the next turn he'll get to draw up to his five hand limit this player over here is going to get to go he's got an invisible kitten he can play for free uh, play for an action but it costs it gives you zero points but then you can go ahead and do something like this which is sacrifice discard one of your kittens and pick up another card and then first third action he takes another turn nice he gets to draw another card here he plays all of his kittens out and his hand is also empty this guy's got 250 points he's got 200 and now this guy's up at 150 right now but bam he just got Catman, a super kitten that's worth 150 points which means he's got 300 points here he can then also go ahead and play one of these kittens here he's got some sacrifices so he can choose to he wants to go ahead and discard this one to draw a new card and um yeah, that's all he wants to do. Next player is then going to get to go. Remember, he has no cards in his hand, so he's going to draw up to five again, and he's going to simply start playing again. There's cards in here like Catnap, which you can steal another player's card on the table. Maybe he'll want to do that. That'll score him one, two, three, and 400 points. He'll still need a, um, two more, which will play these guys here. And when you have that in the on the board, you can then go ahead and discard all these guys here to summon the Dark Overlord. Summoning the Dark Overlord is going to allow you to pick somebody and remove them from the game. And if they don't have a way to stopping it, it's going to empty their hand and remove them completely. However, there are cards in here like Revival that will deny that from happening and making that player discard his cards. The last little thing I want to talk about other than just some of the action cards is we have these pieces here. You got the head, the legs, the body, and then arm pieces, these guys here. And this will actually go ahead and form the Kitten Lord. If somebody has all of these out on the field, it is a 
another way of, dis uh, of destroying another player. And I believe what happens is when you summon this guy, you just get to destroy somebody. However, I think it'd be more cool if you just won the game because it's super difficult to get this in play. Nevertheless, that's the basic idea how you play the game Kitten Casualty. Let's go ahead and talk about what I think about the game and any caveats. So what do I think about the game Kitten Casualty? Well, first of all, I really, really, really like the fact that you can summon the Exodia Cat. And from the rules, I think you just get to destroy somebody when you get into play. I think it would be way better if you just won the game because it's really hard to get all these guys in the field. Even if you had all five in your hand, you still have to play three and wait another round and just get another two out. And that can actually result in somebody removing this or stealing it from you and so on and so forth. Now, you normally can't kill a kitten with this, but you can go ahead and swap cards and other things that will actually lose you the cards in front of you on the field. Uh, the 500 points mechanism works fine. You play the cards down, if you get 500, it's going to get rid of somebody, and that's just well, well and good. Uh, another thing that can actually happen, though, is if you're playing a three-player game, I have 500 points, somebody else has 300 points, and somebody else has 400, I can go ahead and spend my 500 to kill this guy, but this guy's now going to have a bunch of points on the board, and he can in turn kill me. So I might not want to play that, but when I choose not to play, I don't get to draw as much. You're always trying to empty your hand in this game so you can draw up to more cards. It's better than drawing one card if you can draw five cards, right? and you're playing three cards a turn. So there are certain instances that, that can be beneficial and that can be really irritating. Another thing is, they talk about this revive card. This can save you from death. However, somebody has 500 points, let's say, and you have maybe 100 points, and this is the last card in your hand. You can't simply just play this card. You have to wait until somebody kills you. So you're going to be drawing one card a turn until somebody happens to do that, and that can be kind of a slog. There should be some cards in this deck that allow you to discard cards in your hand to allow you to draw cards in case you don't want these cards, or maybe you don't want the person who has the Kitten Lord pieces, maybe you can have him discard a card in order to uh, discard the one card he needs from your hand so he can't steal it from you to draw a new card. That could be very beneficial as well. Overall, the game's pretty fun. If you like games like Exploding Kittens and that kind of sort, you're going to like this one as well. It's got the cat theme. It's cute. It's got some crazy, like, uh, different little cute little artworks. <laughs> my, my, my wife loves the game, and a lot of the kids that play with me like this. This is definitely a smaller kid game. There's a little bit of strategy in it. There's a lot of luck in it. The skip of turns are okay in a long, bigger player game, and then the uh, take an extra turn can be I mean, it just really depends, you know, for you. I don't like skip a turn or take an extra turn. Those things kind of bother me. But in this kind of game, it's really quick and really simple, and it works just fine. It's similar to the games like uh, like Exploding Kittens, like I said. They don't really necessarily bother me. Overall, though, if you game, if you got a game like this, uh, this might be another one to add to the collection. If you don't have one, then I would suggest this one could be one that you would want to try out. It's a gateway game. It's super quick, super easy to play. It's definitely a game you can sit down and play with other people, especially cat lovers. However, that being said, cat lovers, there are cards in here that I have kittens doing some sad things like a poor vomiting kitten or uh, sacrificing kittens as well so take that into consideration for super cat lovers out there overall though definitely gave you to ch check out look in the description below if kitten casualty sounds something like you'd want to pick up